Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm here to show you some arrangement view shortcuts that will save you a lot of time in Ableton Live. If you're just starting out, I highly suggest you get familiar with these shortcuts now, because if you're doing things manually, you're doing things the hard way, then it can really add up to a lot of time wasted. That's time better spent doing the fun stuff, like actually creating music. But if you're doing all the grindy things yourself, these are shortcuts that really save you a lot of time and I really hope they help you. So in order, the shortcuts I'm going to be talking about today are duplicate time, delete time, paste time, and cut time. And I'll also show you insert silence, which is sort of a related command that will just insert a gap in the middle of your project. Now, these commands all relate to arrangement in the sense that it'll help you insert a bridge between your verse and your chorus without pasting over the chorus or anything like that. It just neatly slots it in between those two sections. And I'm going to show you some examples of that in this tutorial. So what I've done is I've numbered these clips up here so you can see sort of how these commands actually affect what's on your timeline, what's on your arrangement. So with duplicate time, what I'm going to do is highlight a section of the arrangement. Doesn't matter which track I'm starting from. And this part that I've highlighted, if I do duplicate time, it'll just double it. It's like making a repeat of that section. So if you want to stretch your verse out, if your verse is eight bars and you want to make it 16, for example, this is a really good one for that. So if I do duplicate time on this control shift D or command shift D, if you're on Mac, you can see it's just repeated five, six, seven, eight. So really useful command. I use this one the most, I would say. And then you can grab this section here and change the fill and maybe change the chords. You know, it's just a really great way of doing what would otherwise be pretty tedious work, creating new clips again and whatnot, especially if this section is following on from this section, there's probably going to be a lot of similarities anyway. So don't feel guilty about using duplicate time. The pros do it. This idea has existed long before Ableton as well. So <laughs> these are not lazy shortcuts. They're clever shortcuts. It's only lazy if you're lazy about it. Okay, so that's duplicate time. And just to, I guess, show you one more quick example of that, let's just highlight this part here in duplicate time and you'll see eight is just repeating. So the next one I'm going to show you is delete time, which is how I'm going to get out of this. Now I could undo all this, but instead I'm going to show you delete time. This is a convenient time to show you that. And it's sort of the opposite of duplicate time. It just removes that section from your arrangement and stitches together the left and right parts so that there's no gap of silence or anything like that. So again, I can highlight just a section of my timeline. Doesn't matter which tracks it is or anything. And then if I go control shift Dell or command shift Dell on Mac, it will just remove that section from my arrangement. And it's just stitched it back together as if it never existed at all. You can also do control shift backspace or command shift backspace. If you're a backspace person, go for it. So it doesn't have to be Dell or the delete key. That's something worth keeping in mind. Now, the next one I'm going to show you is paste time. And I'm going to show you that one before cut time because Paste time also works with copy, just a regular old copy. There's no such thing as copy time. And if you think about it, you'll realize why. So to show you paste time, I'm just going to highlight a section here. Let's just take uh, five to eight. And so I've highlighted all the clips I want and I'm going to do copy. And now I'm going to paste it over here. Now it's very important to click on the same track you started from, and I'll explain that in a second. So I'm, I'm making sure I'm clicking on this top one, not down here, not down here on the top one, because that's where I started from. And I'm gonna do Control Shift V, which is paste time, or Command Shift V on Mac. Okay, so it's just neatly taken uh, the five, six, seven, eight section and just popped it in there. So here's what happens if you don't click on the same track. So I'll just get rid of that. Let's just take it all again, just to make sure it's on the clipboard. And instead I'm gonna start down here. Basically the MIDI for each track is shifted down by one track. Now, I don't think this is a good feature. I think it's sort of a bug really. I don't know why anyone would ever want to do that. So just be careful about that. 
if you're doing paced time, you need to be consistent with the tracks you're clicking on. Another handy thing with pace time though, and this is something I do like, is if if I just want just the chords, I'll take just the chords this time. I'm not highlighting the other tracks, just those. And I'm going to put them there. It takes just the chords. So it's not like duplicate time and delete time where everything is gone. It's only what's highlighted when it comes to copy and paste time. So on this note, I'm going to show you cut time, which you can probably imagine what this one might do. In this case, let's take out this one, two, three, four here. Now I'm going to do control shift X. And again, I'll click up here and do control shift V. So it removed it from here and then pasted it in over here. I don't use cut time as much, but when you do need it, it's actually really helpful, I find. And notice that this is another command where it didn't matter how much I had highlighted, it takes everything in that section when you do cut time. So that one you can't pick and choose. Okay, so I've shown you those main ones, the ones I use the most, the ones that will save you the most amount of time. That's duplicate time, delete time, paste time, and cut time. And now I'm gonna show you insert silence, which as I said before, quite good for drops, or if you just need a bit of space for your arrangement, insert silence is simply control or command I. And then you get this box here. Now this is bars, beats, and presumably sixteenths. So I'm gonna type in four and go okay. And then we get four bars. And again, it's inserted, it hasn't pasted over anything. It's rearranged our song to accommodate this new section. And that's really what all these shortcuts do. Now, another easy way to remember them is just add shift to the commands you're already familiar with. So duplicate, which is control D or command D in case you didn't already know, I can take that and just duplicate that. Duplicate, control D, command D, but the duplicate time, control shift D. Same with paste, okay? So we're all very familiar with paste being control V. And if you didn't know that, I'm really sorry that you found it out this way. <laughs> You've probably gone way too long not knowing that. So paste is pretty much universally control V, command V everywhere. So again, paste time is control shift V. Cut time, control shift X. Remember there's no copy time. Copy time is just a copy. It's the same thing. Think about it. <laughs> so. A couple of things I'll point out with these shortcuts, a few little ifs and buts. So first of all, these markers won't duplicate or be cut or pasted in or anything like that. If I duplicate this, that part C marker stays right there. If I do a cut time and then move it over here, that part C marker is just gone. So if you really like your markers, keep that in mind. You'll have to reset them or be careful with them in general. Another thing I'll point out is that automation will, as you expect, copy with these commands. So if I want to take this section and duplicate it, you'll see the automation is still there. However, as you'd expect, if I turn that padlock on, it will just have no automation. So if the automation in your song is really important in that particular section and you want that to carry over, check that padlock. So those are the real useful arrangement, time-saving commands. I really hope they've helped you. If they have, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm keen to make more videos. You can check out my other videos. I'm just sort of getting started. So thanks for being here early on. I do really appreciate that. And I'll see you again next time.